With deep gratitude and profound appreciation, I thank you, Your Excellency, for accepting to commission and launch the Uganda Electronic Investors Protection Portal today at State House. Your Excellency, you established the State House Investors Protection Unit to receive complaints that affect the progress of investment in the country or issues that, are, that concern investors who need help knowing where to go for specific services. Some of the concerns raised by investors include delays in getting feedback from some of the MDs and that at times they do not get or receive feedback at all. Some of these delays are motivated by corrupt tendencies. Aware of the challenges your Excellency guided us to leverage technology in order to limit human interaction that is manipulated by the corrupt to delay, to delay or even frustrate investors. You, you very well know that Uganda has got the land, the natural resources, has got the labor, Your people are looking for jobs. What has been what you got has been lacking from both local investors and from foreign ones has been capital and entrepreneurship. This is what uh, Uganda has been lacking. East Africa would be very far. So when we, we worked all this, uh, in, the, in the NRM we were very clear, we said no. From the beginning, liberate the private sector. Let the, the people, yes, the land is, the natural resources are here, the labor is here, let the people with the capital come. Let the people with entrepreneurship come. That's how. And look, don't look at, at their color. Don't look at what is crucial are the two things they are, they are adding. Capital, entrepreneurship. Freedom of the private sector. In spite of, in spite of, the, of the problems, of the what, the economy grows. Because they, somehow they manage, they come. Secondly, peace, peace in the country. That's why you find people are coming here, peace. Thirdly, infrastructure, electricity, the, 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 the roads, now the ICT, the backbone, things are, are moving on the infrastructure side. But, the, the growth would be much faster if we do not have corruption. This corruption is a hindrance. And what are the corrupt practices? B bribes. I've been, I've been hearing the, the issue of bribes. Bribes. We shall not give you a license unless you bribe. We shall not give you the, the procurement, this uh, a, a tender, unless you bribe. I've been hearing that. Then the other practice are, are the delays. The delays in order, Banyankore call it Oktatia. Oktatia is to pressurize somebody until he says, please. What, what do you want me to give you? When we, we, we came into government, after a few years, I discovered that there was very low co collection of taxes. I think the Minister of Finance was Kiong at that time. 
is the one who told me that the tax collection at that time was 4% of GDP. Eh? So there was no collection of taxes. I then said, oh, I said, I want to bring people from I don't know where. I said, no, 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 that's not the problem. The problem is integrity. So these agencies don't bring papers, qualification, no, no, no. Integrity, integrity. So what I did, uh, now this one, I wanted to focus. I told Nakarema, don't become a judge in Sango. If investors are fighting over land in the courts, those are their issues. But you look at the government officials who are supposed to facilitate investment, how they are facilitating or not facilitating that investment uh, uh, effort. That's all. You look at that. The bribery, the delays. Yes, many bribery, delays, distortions, 